Appreciate the recording. About you, video. So, this road here was done a couple years ago. It's called uh, West Red Hill Street. With that, because the mayor of Dyer has investment property back this road, this nice black top road that's done all the way from the center of freaking Dyer all the way back into the mayor's investment property. I know this for a fact from a contractor that did work for him. All the way back through here, look how nice this road is. I forgot if you got money in Arkansas, we'll kiss your ass. That's how that works. But look at how nice this is. Now if a cop's stupid enough to pull us over, you switch that over to Facebook Live. Let's see how they like me. Because I will establish my rights. If it means changing the law for stupid judges, that's not a problem. The days of covering your fucking uh, corrupt police are over. Oh yeah, my name's Corey Schill. Get to know it. You're gonna be hearing it a lot. Now, isn't it amazing all back through this? And it still goes further down. But the mayor of Dyer, this is his investment property where he sold some homes. I don't know if they're all sold yet, but we're gonna find out. And it's called Avery's Acres, presented by Bill G. Morse. Now we're gonna find out if that's the mayor's name. These are cops and judges, dude. Huh? That's what this is. Oh, all the odds it is, too. But amazing how the mayor of Dyer nice has that kind of money are. to make this kind of investment property. All the way back through. That's about a $65,000 car. Yeah, there's the house that the contractor I know worked on. That one and the one right across the street over here. But it looks like they may have sold them all. But that's all right. The benefit to me is the roads. Deprivation of rights is deprivation of rights. I wouldn't be surprised and, uh, if you Dennis Gilstrap, no obscene language in your direction. But just because you're an asshole, no obscene language there, that's just my opinion, you're an asshole. Same as Mark McCune and Charlie Baker. Count on that, punks. I bet that's the mayor's house right there. Wouldn't doubt it. But like I said, you want advertisement, assholes? I got advertisement for you. Nice thing about freedom of speech is, I don't need to watch my language. Take your obscenity law and shove it up your ass. It's called freedom of speech, dipshit. I'm serious when I say that. I bet there's a couple of senators that look here. Maybe. Maybe over Oh, it don't matter. I'll do a background check on all these homes. Why? Because I can. Go ahead and pause the video until we get back to our road. And after all that nice road, you get to come up here to where your police station is on Railroad Lane in Dyer. And there's your police station, your municipal building. Are you serious? Right there to the left. That's the police station. That's the police station municipal building. Well, that's uh, got to be the crappiest place. Take a picture of their apart. cars. Are you serious? Yeah, that's how your hillbilly motherfuckers live. You think because you got some money, you fucking better than anybody else? You ain't better than shit. 
punk ass bitches. Now we're turning on to the far east end of Old Graphic Road. Road in which I live basically in the middle of. Now for the most part, they did one end to the other and hid the middle from the rest of the public because they figured nobody would have a mouth like me to open up and say something about it. Well, when I'm buying a home and land back here, I got just as much rights as your rich boy, Myron Kursky, as your uh, lieutenant in the sheriff, Dep or your deputy sheriff, lieutenant in the sheriff's department, James Myers, M-I-R-I-U-S, by the way. And Freedom of Information Act was put in for the whole sole purpose of finding out what the rent was that was being charged to an employee of the county and if citizens were paying the bill for the uh, electric and water usage there. So with that, you can see that bridge up ahead where you see it's all nice blacktop we're coming up to. It took them three years to get that done, so I can assure you 20 of my tires were ruined just on how bad that was. They'll give you an idea how bad it was till they finally got off their duffs and did their jobs. On the other side of the hill across the bridge is a section of the road that they were too lazy to finish and put in properly. And imagine hundred times worse with pitted it, what we go over was pitted all screwed up with little uh, pothole ditches in it and everything else. Plus, uh, sheriffs live back here bringing tax paid vehicles back here at our expense for the fuel and maintenance so they have the luxury of not having to drive their home vehicle like every other middle class American. As you see, they did a nice job here, which was amazing for county workers. But this section right here, we're about to roll over. As I said, imagine it's all crushed up and pitted the whole way through right there. That's what the bridge looked like for three years till I started daying about it. And I'm not done daying. Making my remarks, pushing my citizenship of civil rights. watching First Amendment Audio videos, folks, you can teach these boys where it is and how it stands. I do. But I can deal with the road being like this. But because you have some rich people back here with big chunks of land who don't want it paid the rest of the way, they're going to find out what you want isn't always what you get. Here is Deputy Emmy Blunt's dad. 95 XGK. License number on the red Ford. My business. Anything in public sight from a public road is public access. So don't leave your windows open. We decide to have your intimacy time. So here we are back on old graphic. Dude, right there at that place is a bunch Show of methods. Shut your mouth. Oh, sure. You don't make accusations unless you can prove them. It's kind of what the police departments get in trouble for. Circumstantial evidence doesn't mean shit beyond reasonable doubt. This is called evidence. Lived back here four years just over. And this is what I get for my tax dollars. And oh yeah, by the way, if any of you morons think that you're gonna risk my children's lives with going back to public school, all you government officials can kiss my ass too. Remember Donald Trump, you made a statement during your inaugural speech. And for a bipolar individual, you can bet your bottom dollar in your ass there, Mr. President, that individual rights are just important as the masses and I plan on shoving my rights metaphorically down your throat there, Mr. President. Count on that, son. 
Send your boys to try to intimidate me, and you're gonna find out I don't intimidate, son. Just because you uh, kiss tail with Governor Ass of Hutchinson and that corrupt piece of shit, how uh, he does everything back here for his law enforcement, which is my law enforcement, and they fail to do their job. An hour and 45 minutes to come back this road in order to do a call on something as far as a child having a possible heart attack, as far as me being up in age with multiple illnesses, it still takes you over an hour to do your fucking job. Makes you pathetic, lying pieces of shit. Maybe you want to go back on that law enforcement code of ethics and change your mind and your attitude with your mouths because I don't know you shit. What you get paid for as patrolmen, as first responders, I do because I'm an American and I don't get paid a fucking dime, dumbasses. But this is what I gotta deal with every fucking day where my tax dollars go because I'm not like some cop up here who can go ahead and bring shit in and steal from the tax paying coffer. I guess enough donuts and coffee isn't dispensed your way in order to keep you from stealing my money. But you will find out I am the wrong person. Literally, human being in this world to fuck with. Assaults on my children, your prosecutors refuse to do their jobs. Alma School District, under the guidance of uh, the school board officials, including a city attorney, Sean Brewster, and another attorney who's president of the school board council, a Sherry Jernigan, who think they're above the law because they know it. Well, you're not the only ones that can learn, stupids. And I'm not the type of person you want to play games with. I don't make threats. I keep promises. Here's the only threat I'm going to make. You ever use physical force against my family? According to the Constitution, it will be responded to in kind. Bet on that, chump. Chamber of Commerce is Myron Kursky who has land here. Seems like a nice gentleman, even though he likes to lie through his teeth about who he knows. If you got a problem with that, Myron, you can come see me and I'll say it to your face. Like the rest of the world. All you gotta do is ask, son. There ain't nothing between us but air. So amazingly, for the trust fund family. As soon as he put up his shop for fabrication, I'm assuming is what this is because he has plenty of business and we'll show you this going by. Because once again, this is where they decided to end the road instead of finishing this whole middle section. And I don't stutter and miscommunicate my words. I clarify them. You don't like my speech, move to China. Maybe they can fuck you right to your face. Pardon my French. You pissed off the wrong American, dipshits. <laughs> oh, and we'll see how you like a $4 trillion lawsuit for deprivation of rights. Per the U.S. Supreme Court, $1,018 per minute of those deprivation of rights. I will show you where you stand. As you see, it's also tight for big vehicles back here. But here's where the land restarts again. Shoot over to the left there from the road. This is Myron Kursky's shop. I have no problem with that. But amazingly, back to the road, please. Amazingly, it's done right up to the multi-millionaire's land. Chairman of the Van Buren Chamber of Commerce, Myron Kursky already snapshotted that web page. <laughs> 